Hi guys, my name is Janmin Lissandra and today I will be demonstrating on how to paint a still life painting. So this will be a Christmas gift theme guys. So I will add some um, Christmas presents, um, Christmas balls and a candle. So this painting guys, I will show you on how to create light on your painting to make it um, realistic. Um, but before that, I am going to introduce to you my materials. This is my pen palette guys. I have here the titanium white, the tallow blue, the brilliant red, the medium yellow, and the lamp black. So you observe guys that I am always using um, limited colors on my palette because I want you to learn how to mix and get the desired colors you want. Okay. And these are my brushes guys. I, uh, I'll be using um, 2 inches flat brush, uh, 1 inch flat brush, number 7 um, flat brush and this one guys is number 12 flat brush so you observe guys that the number 12 and number 7 has um, different um, brands and and it has uh, the same size so this two brushes guys has different have different numbers but have, have the same on size on sizes okay so you just choose your brush guys okay and I will be using number four flat brush, number two uh, round brush, and number one li liner brush or round brush, guys, for the details. Um. Okay, and water, guys, to thin the paint. And this is my canvas, guys. It's um thin by twelve inches. I am using smaller canvas now because I don't have twelve by sixteen. And I will be using chalk, guys. Uh, for the sketching so it's easier um, because chalk is easier to to erase um, using water or cotton okay so I'm going to start now with the first coats or the background colors so I'll be uh, adding uh, some dark background guys and I'll be using um, number um, 2 inches flat brush okay so I'll make it a little bluish and dark so I'm gonna make I'm gonna use the blue directly with a little red so you just mix the colors guys just play with it and don't be afraid to so just wet the brush guys just dip the tip of your brush into the water to make it a little wet so I, I just okay I'll just dip it okay that's how you dip it, okay, just a little amount okay so I will be using brown so this is red and we need a little long amount of black and yellow and white So just follow everything I'm doing here. Or I'm um, do everything I do. I do on the canvas. If you're not paint with me guys. Okay and a little yellow and red to make it brown. So I think I'm going to make it um, darker. So I'm gonna use a darker brown, guys. So just red and black with yellow. Just play the colors with blue. Black. some bluish so you observe guys that I am always using different colors to blend uh, to blend it here so it doesn't matter guys what color you are using so just make it dark and I want it dark okay 
And here I'm going to add some dark lines on the bottom. Okay. darker so if it feels hard guys just dip the tip of your uh, brush into the water to make it um, wet as I'm always saying so I'm gonna use white So I'll make it a little bluish guys. So let's assume that we're going we're going to put our our still life painting on top of a desk or on a table. So I add more blue. And red, so I'll just play in the colors guys. And yellow. And black. So make just just make um one strokes from left to right. I will just make this part more solid Okay Okay. Wait. Need to make it a little fine. Yeah, I think that will do. Yeah. So I will let it dry first guys for at least 5 minutes or 10 minutes and after that I'm going to add um, do the sketching first then after that I'm going to add the details and the final coats so let it dry, let it dry first guys okay okay guys so I think the paint is already dry now and I'm, I am ready to add the sketching okay so I will be using um, the chalk guys, the pink chalk and I'm gonna do this, the drawing first okay so I'll be adding here the the present or the the 
it will be a square in size guys and in shape the, the box okay a little perspective I think that's too big so we're gonna use um, cotton guys to erase the cotton guys to erase the the lines of the chop so just wet the cotton guys and you can erase it without any hassle Okay. Think I'm going to make it a little smaller. Okay. And that's it. And I'm gonna make some um, Christmas ball here. Uh, I'm going to add a ribbon here guys on top of the on top of the um, top of the let's call this the present with the perspective okay and here's the ribbon here but i'm going to add later the ribbon after i'm going to after i painted this one and a candle guys so i'm going to put a candle holder um i'm thinking of a small candle holder in a shape of a tree trunk okay and here will be the candle okay and of course here will be the light candle light okay i actually i i this is my second attempt guys to create this um composition or this uh, painting the first one was a little failed so I I I did do it again. So I wanna let, let you know guys that it's okay to commit mistakes. As long as you know what's wrong, so that's fine. So you just recreate it. Or you you, you need or you just you rep repaint it. And here also I think I'm going to add a, another ball here but this should part this part should be a little dark darker so i'll just decide later if i just add that okay so i'm gonna do the color now the coloring now okay and i'm gonna use i think i'm going to color the christmas gift um green and uh, this ball will be red and this one will be blue okay okay so i'm gonna use um smaller brush i think um no the bigger bigger this think the number seven flat brush here and I'm gonna use the blue because I'm gonna mix green so blue and yellow guys uh, this time more blue so I'm thinking of um, making a natural light here guys but I'm gonna make this um, candle brighter so it will it will have a um, um, a yellow highlights of this part okay so i'll teach you how to create light guys in your painting so i'm gonna add white and blue okay so it's a little um blue green guys the color
Okay. And on the other part, so the combination, guys, is just um, white, uh, blue, and yellow. Okay, I think I will just add here on top of it, but I'm going to make it a little lighter. So I'm gonna add, I'm gonna here add white. Yeah. So a little perspective, guys. Uh, use the tip of your brush and careful just be an extra careful guys in adding it okay so another light color here So I'll just add some ribbon here later. So I'll just do it that way for now. Yeah, and I will correct the the perspective later, guys. Yeah. Okay. So this part, guys, will be a little yellowish since we have a little um. Uh, since we have a, a light coming from the candle guys which is a little um, yellowish so I'm gonna add more yellow on the green color guys then add white to make it a little yellow green yeah that's it I'm going to make it as realistic as possible guys Okay Now they are here Okay, so actually, guys, I don't have a reference on this um, tutorial, so I'll just create my own uh, whatever comes to my mind. Okay, so this part, guys, should be a little dark green, so I'm gonna mix for dark green. So I'm gonna use blue and yellow, so more blue. So since um, to create the shadow guys it should be a little dark to create a casted shadows coming from the bowl or our Christmas bowl 
Okay. How about that. Okay, so I'm gonna use a smaller brush, guys. It's harder to use a um, bigger brush. So I'm gonna use the number four flat brush. So I'm gonna add the ribbon here. So I think it should be a little um uh, bluish um, white. So I'm gonna use the white and a little amount of blue. So it's a little light blue, guys. Yeah, I'm going to add a little white to make it a little grayish. Yeah, I'm going to add more blue. Yeah, that's it. This part is a little tricky guys. Okay, that's it. And on top also guys you need to add um the ribbon. And I'm gonna do the same color. And I'll just add more highlights later. Okay. it so I will add across here later okay and also this part guys should be um, lighter but okay just need to clean your brush first before adding another color okay so white and a little amount of yellow so just white and a little amount of yellow guys and okay that's it Yeah, you see guys this, this part is a little lighter than this so because we have a brighter light here from coming from the candle Okay, now I'm going to Let it dry first and I'm going to Do the ball so I'm gonna use boogie brush guys the number seven flat brush and I'm gonna use the red directly here So just apply the red directly guys since we have the part dark back background so um, the color also becomes darker so we're we need to add another coat later yeah 
yeah i think that's a purple circle now okay so next so let it dry first then next we're gonna do the um the blue ball blue christmas ball so i'm gonna use the, the blue guys and i'm going to add a little white just blue and a little white okay Okay. So we'll add later the highlights. Okay, so I'm gonna correct some parts of the red ball. Okay. Now I'm going to add the color of the candle. So I'm thinking of uh, white, okay. Okay, so I'm gonna use a smaller brush, guys. I think the number four flat brush. So I'm gonna use the white, the yellow, uh, sorry, and white with a little amount of red to make it orange yellow and white okay Okay. Now this part should be a little darker guys and I'm going to make it a little grayish so I'm going to use the the black and the white just pure black and white. Now guys, I'm going to add the tree trunk. Okay. So, I think I'm going to mix for brown, so I'm going to use the red. The red, I oh know the black, the red. And the yellow. a little brown yeah and of course the tree trunk so I'm gonna use the black guys so uh, this part should be darker Okay, just follow everything I'm doing guys. Oh, just follow everything I did. If, if you're not pinned with me, just follow what I'm doing. So I can add some color brown on the tree trunk. Okay. Yeah. Like that. 
and I'm going to add white some highlights in the tree trunk so I'm gonna just add white guys Okay, that's it. Don't know if it's still wet. Yeah. Okay. So what else I'm gonna do? I'm going to add some glowing um, effect on the candle, guys. Okay. So I'm gonna use the orange. So I'm gonna use the red. So and yellow. Okay, so just apply it here, guys, directly. Just add white, guys, to make it lighter. Yeah, that's it. So don't wet your brush, guys. It should be dry. And we're gonna add some glowing effect on the candle. So just carefully and, and softly guys, uh, make some strokes. Yeah, just like glazing guys. But you should do it lightly. That's it. Okay. Okay, hey, that's it. We'll add later the 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 fire. Okay. And now I'm going to continue um doing this part, the the present. Okay. So I think I'm going to add some details here and the ribbon. Okay, I'm, I'm thinking what's the shape of the ribbon. Yeah, so I'm gonna mix for white and blue. And okay, this is the ribbon, guys. the ribbon and here also Well, the, the details later so don't worry guys so here also so I'm gonna add some okay and also here yeah yeah that's it I think I'm going to make this part a little lighter. So what I'm gonna do. Yeah, I'm going to add white guys. That's a white lighter color on this um with a little amount of blue. And more white to create some highlights guys. 
so here and here guys because we have some lights here and some nuts I really didn't know the exact, the exact form of nuts of the nuts guys they are in here also Okay, and here this also. Okay, yeah, that's it. So we're gonna add some dark color later. So I'm gonna use white guys to add more highlights. Yeah. about that okay what else I'm gonna do I think I'm going to make this part lighter this one so uh, the part here the green part so just use the white guys no I'm going to mix for green so yellow red no uh, blue and yellow sorry guys I'm out of my mind and white and lots of white yeah. just created some uh, uh, more highlights on this part and yeah that's it so it's now a box and now guys I'm going to add details on the ribbon so I'm gonna add some dark parts so I'm gonna use um, blue guys and black with a little amount of white okay I'm going, I'm gonna use a liner brush guys number one okay and here Here also guys some lines and here and of course here guys oh it's still wet okay and here guys and also here I really don't understand the the knot that I'm doing guys. <laughs> yeah. Here yeah, I'm gonna make this part darker. Yeah and this part clear now this part Maybe if you have the idea guys on how to create the knot, so maybe you can change that. Okay. Yeah, it it's it looks realistic now. Okay, so what else I'm gonna do? I'm going to add some ribbon here, I think. Yeah. 
and I'm gonna use again the the number four flat brush and white and I'm going to mix for the existing um, bluish color and I don't know what to do so just put it here Okay. And yeah. Okay. So the other one is uh, on the other side. Okay. I think <laughs> that'd be a little uh, and, and and don't forget to add some dark. The shades and the bare bones here and you can blend it with your fingers okay okay and here also guys don't forget to add some shades here I'm gonna use the black Yeah. And I'm going to add more highlights guys here. Okay. Uh, from the candle. So I'm going to use the yellow guys and white. So just yellow and white guys. Then just to add it here. Okay. And I think also here, guys. Okay, yeah, how about that? And here, it's a mount here, yeah. And I'm going to add more white here, guys. Yeah, so we can see now the the light coming from the candle. Okay. And here are a little amount here. Yeah. I like that. Okay. So I think I'm going to make this um lighter. Yeah lighter green so I'm gonna use the black I know the the yellow no the blue and the yellow more yellow guys and more white okay Yeah, and a little uh, here on top. So just adjust the colors, guys. It should be a little darker. And yeah, that will do. Okay, and this I'm going to make this lighter, guys. So I'm gonna use more white and yellow yeah 
yeah I like that and now guys I'm going to add details on the on the ball so I'm my time is running <laughs> okay so I'm gonna add some highlights on the red ball first so I'm gonna use the um, red okay I have no white and white guys and don't forget to add a little amount of blue to make it a little bluish and white more red okay so just apply it so the, the light is coming from here guys so we just add right here so just blend the colors do not wet your brush Okay, and red guys, pure red. Okay, just blend the colors. Okay, now don't forget to add the highlights coming from the the to call this the candlelight so I'm gonna use again the red with a little amount of yellow and white yeah just apply it here yeah that will do and pure red guys don't forget to use the pure red and just blend the colors okay just add some uh, more uh, later so I'm gonna use the white case to create some highlights and I'm going to mix it here on the bluish color, bluish red or the blue gray, the red violet. Yeah, just blend the colors gently okay so, and then I'm going to add white guys and yeah that's it so you have now a shiny ball okay wait I'm going to add some um, here dark color here so I'll just use the red and black guys no darker I want it darker to create some um, darker shades of the ball
Okay. How about that. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and I think I'm going to add some reflection from coming from the green um, um, percent. Okay, so I'm going to use the yellow green and I'll just apply it here. Now it should be yellow green. Yeah, that will do. Okay. What else I'm gonna do? So, so here, guys, I'm going to add um, highlights on the blue. I, I think I'm going to do first the the highlights of the of the red ball using this. Um, smaller brush so I'm gonna use the white and the yellow and red okay yeah and red guys the pure red so just blend it here and we're gonna add some yellow uh, reflection yeah yeah that's it and the blue ball guys I'm gonna use the number set number four flat brush so just use the white and the blue So I'll just apply it here directly. Then I'm gonna use the blue to blend the colors. some highlights on the back yeah that will do and white guys with a little amount of green create some highlights yeah no that's it Okay, now I'm going to add some details on the candle. Okay, so I'm gonna use the smaller brush, guys, and I'm gonna use this yellow and white.
should be the fire of the candle yeah that's it and pure white guys okay then I'll just add white here some highlights then I think I'm going to make it uh, this part orange so I'm gonna use the red and the yellow and white I think I'm gonna use a bigger brush. Okay, so I think I'm going to add some um, highlights here. Okay. So I'm gonna use this brown, guys. I'm um, just mix one. So I'll just use black, yellow, and with a little red and white. Some red. And then yellow. More white, guys. I think more white to make it uh, lighter. Okay, and then I'm going to add some highlights here. We're seeing the same color, guys. Okay. Okay, and now, guys, I'm going to use the same color. To add some highlights on the floor here coming from the candle guys I'm gonna use the bigger brush and with the same color and yeah I think I'm gonna add more light um, brown with some yellow and red think here also okay just apply it directly This part and the nearest should be lighter. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, that's it. We have now the light. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Okay. And now I'm going to add more shadows. Okay, so here guys I'm going to add because we have light here, so I'm going to add shadows. So just black guys and black and a little amount of blue and red. So here. Okay, here also. And here. So this is some casted shadows coming from here guys. And of course we need, we need to darken this part. Okay. And here. And of course guys I'm going to darken the this part of the bowl of the blue bowl. Yeah. And this guy this part guys should be darker. So I'll just add white here to make it a little gray, yes. light here okay so make it darker guys just glazing guys um, do not wet your brush that means do not add water in it okay and this part will be dark so I'm gonna use black with a little amount of red done so don't forget to add some what else I'm gonna add some um, candle a melting candle here so I just use the white with a little I just use the gray here so it's um Yeah, that's it. And what else I'm gonna add? Yeah, I do not know what I'm going to add more. Yeah, maybe I'll just blend this uh, part well. Okay. And I'm gonna use the red. just blend it well guys and use your fingers okay I think I'm going to add some reflection coming from here this part so I'll just use I'll just add white to the red and yellow okay 
Okay. Do not, I do not know if that's right. Yeah, it will be. Can be. Okay, so I'll just add more retouch, guys. So I'll just use red and black to add some dark here. Okay. Yeah, how about that? I think I'm going to add some dark here on the bottom. Okay. So I'll just use the pure black, guys. I'm tired of mixing. <laughs> now I'll just add a little yellow. I oh, know yellow, yeah. Uh, don't overdo it guys just a little amount of um, black yeah uh, that will do okay and I'm going to erase the the lines I'm, I'm not going to add here guys I'll just delete it I'll just erase it so just use the white the cotton guys and dip it into the water make it wet and you can erase easily the the chalks yeah yeah i think that will do Actually, guys, you can add um, some designs here on your um, uh, Christmas present. You can add anything you want. So you are free, whatever design you want. Okay. What else I'm gonna add? I'm thinking, guys, what I'm going to add more. I think more highlights. Okay, so I'll just use the yellow highlights guys so I just I'm going to mix white and yellow to make some highlights here and also here and more yellow to make this part more yellowish yeah 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 to have some um, yellow light on the on the rear bone okay so what else I'm gonna add Yeah, I'm thinking, guys. What um, what else? So I think I'm just with. I'm going to retouch some areas. So I'll just use the light red here. Okay. Yeah. yeah yeah that will do okay I think I'm going to add more light so this is my final retouch here I'm going to add more light here so I'll just use white guys and uh, red and yellow and more white yellow guys okay so 
So I'll just make this part lighter. To emphasize more light on our painting. Also here. Yeah. I think that's fine for me. Okay, I think this part will be lighter, so I'm gonna add more white and yellow. Okay. Yeah, that's it. I think I'm going to blend this. Um, I don't like it. I'm going to add more dark, dark red or or brown. So just glazing, guys. Do not wet your brush. Okay, let's do. Yeah, I think that's enough. I'm a little contented with this. And I'm going to add more white here. Yeah, I think I think I am done. So again, so guys you are i'm gonna say um you are free to add more details on the present here so you can add snowman whatever you do okay and and if you want to paint with me just follow everything i did on the video and this is how i create light guys on my painting actually guys uh, honestly i don't have a reference on this so i just um, make my own i don't know if it's correct or i don't know I don't care okay so okay guys so thank you very much for watching this video of today so if you wanna play with me just follow everything what I did and please hit like add some comments and subscribe for more videos um, in the future and all I wanna say guys is paint more paint every day and practice every day the more you practice the more you will know how to mix and the more you will know how to use your brush okay Okay guys, so once again, thank you very much and have a nice day.